It was a night that promised to shape the future of two clubs. A night that will go down in the history of football, not for its brilliance, but for one of the most controversial moments the game has ever seen. In 2005, Chelsea stood on the brink of reaching their first ever Champions League final. But in a stadium soaked in history, under the blinding lights of Anfield, everything will change in the blink of an eye. A goal that no one truly saw. Shabit's nervous. Was it a goal? Was it in? I'm not sure I was on the box. A decision that still divides opinions. I understand that people say that no, it wasn't in because, I mean, there is no one good replay of camera that can yeah. tell you, listen, yeah, it was in. From television, I didn't see, to be fair. But other people say nobody can confirm it's a goal. An rivalry that would only grow more fierce. This is the story of Chelsea's greatest heartbreak. The story of the ghost goal. And it's a story that demands to be told. In the summer of 2004, Roman Abramovich Chelsea made a statement to the footballing world with the appointment of Jose Mourinho. Fresh from winning the Champions League with Porto, Mourinho arrived at Stamford Bridge with a reputation as a tactical mastermind and a winner. His confidence was infectious. He declared himself a special one. I'm European champion, so I'm not one of, of the bottle. I'm a, I think I'm a special one. And Chelsea's players quickly bought into his philosophy. Under Mourinho, Chelsea transformed into an unstoppable force setting new records on their way to their first league title in 50 years. With a rock-solid defence that considered just 15 goals all season, Chelsea dominated the Premier League. The midfield, led by the tireless Frank Lampard, combined flair with resilience, while Didi Drogba terrorised defences across England. Chelsea was no longer a team of potential, they were champions. But Mourinho's ambitions was clear. Domestic dominance was just the beginning. The ultimate goal was to conquer Europe. The semi-final draw pitted Chelsea against Liverpool, a domestic rival who had struggled in the league but excelled in Europe. The first leg at Stamford Bridge was a tense tactical battle. Mourinho's men pushed forward in search of a breakthrough but Liverpool's defence held firm. Despite their best efforts, Chelsea couldn't find a way through, and the match ended in a new new stalemate. It was a frustrating night for the Blues, but they remained confident, knowing that an away goal at Anfield would be decisive. As Chelsea arrived at Anfield for the second leg, we were met with a wall of noise. The atmosphere was electric, with the Liverpool fans creating an intimidating environment for the visitors. Anfield was a fortress, and the crowd believed they could wield their team to victory. Mourinho knew his players had to remain focused, block out any noise, and execute their game plan. The stakes couldn't have been higher. 90 minutes to decide who would advance to the final in Istanbul. Just four minutes into the match, the moments that would define this tie occurred. A true ball from Steven Gerrard found Milan Barros, who collided with Peter Cech as he tried to lift the ball over him. As the ball spilled loose, Luis Garcia pounced and flicked it towards goal. Chelsea's defenders, led by John Terry, scrambled to clear it off the line. But to their disbelief, referee of the night, Lubos Mitchell, pointed to the center circle. He had awarded the goal. The decision was met with disbelief and outrage. The plays were inconclusive. Some angles suggested the ball might have crossed the line. 
while others left to room for doubt. The Chelsea players were livid. Mourinho remained calm on the touchline, and his sense of injustice filled the air. The ghost goal, as it would come to be known, was a moment that would haunt Chelsea for years to come. With the controversial goal hanging over them, Chelsea had no choice but to go on the offensive. Mourinho's men pushed forward relentlessly, searching for the equalizer that would send them to the final. Did your drug battled for every ball? Frank Lampard tried his luck from a distance, and John Terry ventured forward on every set piece. But Liverpool's defense, led by the heroic Jamie Carragher, stood firm. Every Chelsea attack was met with the wall of red. Every shot was blocked or saved, and the frustration began to build. Despite their best efforts, Chelsea couldn't find the breakthrough. As the clock ticked down, the tension reached its peak when the final whistle blew. Anfield erupted in celebration. Liverpool were true to the final, and Chelsea's European dream had been shattered. The players were left to contemplate what could have been, and the bitter taste of defeat lingered. For Chelsea, it was a night of heartbreak, a night where they felt robbed of their place in history. The aftermath of the match was filled with controversy and recrimination. Jose Mourinho didn't hold back, questioning the legitimacy of the goal. I think you should bring here the linesman and ask him why he gave a goal. Because to give a goal must be 100% the ball in. And famously dubbing it the ghost goal. The goal that came from the moon. The Chelsea players echoed their manager's sentiments, feeling they had been denied by an unjust decision. The ghost goal became a symbol of injustice in the eyes of the Chelsea fans. The moments that would linger in their memories as an unresolved grievance. But the 2005 semi final was just the beginning. Over the next few years, Chelsea and Liverpool would meet again and again in the Champions League, each time with the stakes just as high. The rivalry between the two clubs grew more intense with each encounter, fueled by the tactical battles between Mourinho and Benitez and the dramatic nature of their matches. Each game added a new chapter to the story, with both teams determined to prove their superiority. The ghost goal was a spark that ignited the rivalry that would define an era of English football. The heartbreak of 2005 left a scar on Chelsea, but it also fueled their determination to succeed. Over the following years, the Blues continued their pursuit of European glory overcoming setbacks and near misses. Finally, in 2012, Chelsea's persistence paid off. A dramatic final in Munich, it defeated Bayern to lift the Champions League trophy for the first time in their history. In the end, that night at Anfield wasn't the end of Chelsea's story. It was the beginning of a new chapter, a chapter that taught them resilience, unity, Please support humanappeal.org.uk <laughs> And the prize of greatness. A reminder that even in the face of injustice, the true champions rise again. Football isn't just about the moments that go your way. It's about how you respond when they don't. And for Chelsea, that response has been nothing short of... Legend? Wait, Wait for, for it. it. Jerry. Legendary. This was a night that shaped Chelsea's future, from heartbreak to heroics. This is the story of resilience. This is Chelsea.